Oh, no, 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 no. oh, he's got a rubbery hand. Why is it I'm not ready? Why are you not ready, Eddie? Because I wanted to watch it at least a couple of times. We'll just watch the clip live. This is a quick episode as we haven't, we're have we short on time. However, we've had probably the most remarkable letter <laughs> of any listener or viewer we've ever had. We've had amazing feedback and it's not been from Spoldner or no. John. And I wouldn't even say it's a lover of the show. More no. a lover of animals. Animals. <laughs> yes, it's the Two Minute Terminator. I'm Ethan McKinley, your host. I'm Ellie Fitzgerald, the co-host. It's episode 67. Before we get started on this letter, which, oh, wow, my toes are curling even as Fucking I'm reading it. Fucking hell. Can you read that much? A loose key. Uh, I don't know. Should we, we'll, tr- we'll try one each. Okay. <laughs> you s- oh, let, me, let me just turn this down first of all. Actually, should we hit the music first? Motherfucker. <laughs> Okay, right. we've got a letter from uh, someone called Aluski who saw her episode, uh, Zoophilia and Mustard Gas, which, <laughs> is, which was uh, seven episodes back last week, uh, episode 60. <laughs> oh my God, I can't believe this. I've just had a really interesting thought. Go on. I was thinking to myself, why? <laughs> I wonder why this person's listening to The Terminator, and then I've realised that they've obviously typed in zoology to YouTube, and this has come up. No, David Attenborough, the naturalist, would have probably typed in zoology. He's still alive, you know. Yeah. This person obviously what typed in zoophilic. Having said that, oh They've sorry. By the way, we are going from uh, the two hour. No th- one cares about that. All right, the two hour twelve minute mark to the two hour fourteen minute mark, and uh, essentially it starts with uh, Robert Patrick, the T one thousand, touching, uh, I guess, himself a bar, a support bar in the steel mill, and gets a stripy hand because <laughs> he's now faulty T one thousand is actually showing signs of. Uh, being a bit it's probably because he's been obliterated into a billion pieces he has uh we will actually get to the meat of this but uh we're still spinning from this layer we got obviously this person but you can't blame them for typing looking for zoophilia on youtube i mean i've done that and i haven't bummed an animal yeah but this person clearly has <laughs> well yeah uh <laughs> let's get on to the letter first so you go first uh f- well thank you for your interest uh Aluski, and thank you for writing it <laughs> oh my god <laughs> right four minutes 30 seconds in was it 4.30? Was that when they wrote it? I think that's when they actually wrote it. Okay, right. At 4.30 today, that's English time. It's now 11.21 at night uh, that we're doing the show. I just came upon this letter. Right, Aluski has obviously watched the episode. Or maybe have not even watched the episode. Maybe they just saw Zoophilia and Mustard. They'd have to, wouldn't they? They would have to have listened to it. Yeah, thank you for listening. We really went in. We did. <laughs> it's a 32-minute show. Thank you. See, this is what... this is. Ethan. We're gaining step. Grassroots. Do you know what I mean? Like As long as the animals are eating the grass not and not being, <laughs> not being fucked, we're this okay. This is what we should be talking about, not fucking Terminator. Well, so often this show does obviously... Uh, that's what I mean. That's, s- that's the best part. Spin off down and the rabbit now hole. And we're now getting backlash. <laughs> Go. Go now. Read. Okay, Aluski writes in, People become zoosexuals in urban areas too. Uh, I'm assuming you're English. I'm sorry, you're probably not. You, so there's a picture of a husky on your profile. So what are you, from Canada or something? Oh. Antarctica? Alaska? People from <coughs> warm countries have got eaten. People become zoo, zoo sexuals in urban areas too, eh? Uh, it has nothing to do with the lack of access to humans. It has everything to do with the exposure to animals. Sexual imprinting. <laughs> now, that is not to confuse people who have sex with an animal because they can't access humans. That's zoo sex. Not done, <laughs> f- not done for zoo sexual reasons, <laughs> but the sexual s- for sexual starvation reasons. This is fucking Jesus. gold. You've given us 20 minutes of a show. I know. We love you. <laughs> <laughs> like the non-homosexuals who are in male prisons and have gay sex because they can't get straight sex. <laughs> they do. <coughs> oh my God, I can't believe this. Keep going. <laughs> they do that not because they're gay, but because they have no options. Once options are given, free from jail. I don't go and go for gay sex at all. I don't know. Right, okay, so I'm going to totally... F- well, t- do the first part. Get rid, of, um, get rid of that theory. Generally, in prisons, when men get raped, it's not actually a sign of homosexuality or they're doing it because they can't get access to females. It's like a hierarchy thing. 
I understand the that. The biggest fucking badass will bum the little boys. And it's like a thing of, I am the fucking man. I dominate, and you're going to take my dick and your bum. Having said so that, So that's Ellie, bollocks. N- no, it can't, no, be, no, right. No. Could, if you went into prison, Ethan, would you start fucking dudes? No, I'd probably put a dick in my mouth just to, like, not get into trouble with anyone. <laughs> <laughs> As soon as they went, hey, and I'd be like, is anyone coming to you in here yet? Like, oh, I'll suck your dick, don't hurt me. I'll suck your dick, man. Don't I got these cheeseburgers, man. Don't shank me. <laughs> we've got a fucking, we've got a hairnet on, like some fucking, <laughs> some cholo. I can imagine you in like the kitchen with a right, rolling I, pin. I, I think you're wrong. Up. I don't think all sex in prisons is rape. I think people, when you, when you, let's imagine you've been in, let's say you've been some in prison. Some of those men will be gay. Let's say you've been in prison for two years. Yeah. Let's let's ha- meet Aluski halfway. Uh, I think you'd probably end up ba- having sex, wouldn't you? No. Really? Well, a, your, se- a, a your female, sexual a female, drive. A would female, a female, a female uh, prison. Yeah, I'd say that because women are so much more easy. Women are much more easier. Uh, find it a lot more easier to like fuck other chicks. So we have bad grammar. Yeah. <laughs> the meat of my teeth um no but i think once you're in that world things suddenly change don't they the same way people are affected by their environment you get this crowd mentality if you're in like uh, a prison situation and then it becomes kind of okay to do gay things because i just don't i just don't no i don't, I don't if you're in prison happen. for the rest of your life you'd put a dick in your mouth i probably would you'd probably end up having sex you would it wouldn't all be rape i just I, I agree with the power part of the rape of course and that probably happens to like the more scared or lesser people but I'm sure if you got your bunk mate and it's like one of those slow nights you've been in prison for two years, you're like, oh God. Yeah, really but then that come. yeah, but then that promotes that promotes the <laughs> idea of being gay as a choice then. It's not. You're either gay or you're not. No, because like it's What says would you in do? Just fucking shut your eyes like and think of England and just <laughs> No That is a woman, yeah, I'm just stalking around. <laughs> no, but I you know, it's probably true. If you, it's your options, isn't it? I don't necessarily agree well, just though. Have a wank. Alusky, Get a you, flashlight. I can't necessarily agree with Aluski's uh, letter in saying uh, zoo sexuals are in urban areas too it has nothing to do with the lack of access to humans I, maybe if you're drunk and you came home from a club you'd get the dogs lick your balls while you jacked well we up. saw that interesting um, <laughs> that interesting uh uh, video on uh, YouTube. It has everything to do with the exposure to animals, sexual imprinting. So it's not to confuse people who have sex with animals just because they can't access humans. No, that's true, but. Let's just get to the the part of the matter. It's the a bit nitty gritty. Odd, nitty gr- it's a bit odd having sex with an animal, isn't it? Yeah, totally. And I've noticed Aluski, and maybe the, maybe you down you like liked this program because then you're. Uh, let's just go straight to a page. <laughs> I'm assuming you're a woman. I shouldn't do that, should I? I apologise. It's just you know what it is because there's that like husky dog kind of thing. As mm. the picture, I always assume. Right, Aluski's a lady. Lesbians she, love huskies. She's not a lesbian. But. Not necessarily a crazy cat lady, but she's got lots of dream catchers hanging around her house. Oh no, is she into crystals? Probably. <laughs> and. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. And she's got lots of Native American art, not original art. <coughs> <laughs> I mean, those T-shirts with like wolves on and stuff, and like. Oh uh, no. And chiefs with like feathers in their hair, like uh, First she's, Nations. Do you reckon people? she's part of a wolf pack? Uh, my real question. <laughs> My real question to anyone like that, of course, is do you believe in Bigfoot? Yes. <laughs> you think they're a Bigfoot person? Yes. She probably fucked Bigfoot. <laughs> Come for Bigfoot. <laughs> yeah, Aluski, if you are in uh, into, uh, well, what we think you might be into, go and buy your YouTube channel, which I'm, we're not judging you, by the way. I myself, over the last few weeks, have been looking at lots of uh, shows, including the thing you've like watched recently on your thing which is the vice uh, is that the donkey sex yeah the we donkey saw sex the vice day, documentary we? yeah but i think maybe because we mentioned it i don't know though having said that look at all these bloody videos i know two dogs N- having sex nay means nay oh master dog masturbating florida struggling to ban the only problem with your channel is there's nothing really like it's all for kind of vanilla stuff Aluski. i think you need to get mrs hands mr hands by the way mr hands let me get oh started on he died you know that so whatever, making that video making that video that's fucking good dedication. The highlight of that video, of course, is like all the people obviously standing around in that barn. <laughs> and when the, and he, he goes, oh! And, the, and, that, and, and that person guys the giant big horse stick into the man. I've not seen Mr. Hands. I've seen Mrs. Hands. I haven't seen Mr. Hands. And you you know the pup that kills him. He goes, oh! And he goes, are you okay? And he goes, I'm fine. Or something like that. And then when the horse pulls out, he goes, 
Oh, it's the. And then, and then one of the voices oh. in the crowd goes, "Did he come?" And someone goes, "Yeah, he came." <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me. That kind of reminds me of that um that clip in uh, Ponderland. <laughs> when um, they're watching those, uh, they're watching that like weightlifting competition. There's a guy in the audience, and he goes, <laughs> <laughs> he like makes his fist. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> can can I read the second part? Oh yeah, we're, we're gonna go to the second part and of you know what's amazing? Uh, Aluski's letter. The time difference. So the first part was put on at four thirty. You were on a and roll then here, Aluski. The second part was on at four forty. <laughs> So whether that took and another thing. So whether that took them ten minutes to write, do you reckon that was in like a frenzied rant? Yeah. Do you reckon that to go back and do spell check? I don't know. I'm in, I'm I'm going to post in the show notes of this show, Aluski. If you bother to check below them uh, on the YouTube channel uh, later tonight or tomorrow, uh, I'm going to put a link to a zoophilia documentary. Looking once again to your uh, channel, you've probably actually seen this. However, it's probably in it. You know, one of the people <laughs> in it's like a very lonely man who's on a farm. Right, so maybe I can we see your point on that? I don't know, probably wouldn't have sex with animals still. But there's a woman on there who's quite clearly a lesbian. Mm. Oh, we're not, we're oh not, hell yeah. We're not saying you're a lesbian or a woman, even though I just kind of said there's, you're, you're there's a woman. A there's a fucking couple on there. There's a couple on there who kind of wash each other. Mm. So yeah, they cover all the bases. It's quite <laughs> interesting. <laughs> cover my base. Go on, read the second part right. of Aluski's uh, rant. Child abuse <laughs> has not been linked to increasing the rate this uh, is amazing. Uh, of someone becoming a uh, zoosexual, homosexual, pedosexual. Childhood abuse does not increase the risk of a person becoming an abuser himself, regardless of their sexual orientation. I think it hypersexualizes people, though. It definitely does. I've dated a few people on occasion, off and on, who've had that happen to them. And generally, the sex has been amazing. And they've been very sexual. It's all about a traumatized person. <laughs> but that's not to say they're kind of an abusive or like uh, a pedosexual, as you say here. Probably because, um, probably because of observational learning. Uh, one case of a child being abused, a space abused, and ending up as a zoosexual uh, doesn't prove anything. Same way you can find children who got abused. And doesn't prove anything, see? And you'll never <laughs> keep me alive, see? If I don't have sex with animals, you'll never catch me. <laughs> <laughs> and to an end of zoosexual. Jimmy Same Kenny is true for other sexual orientation. Correlation causes um, has not been proven. <laughs> I don't know what they're trying to prove with this fucking... I think, going by the channel, and we're not judging... At no, sta <laughs> at no stage did we say every single person that has sex with animals has been abused or... They've yeah, like I said, you've, you've, to you've been to, you've back from a club and you're drunk and you want your balls licked. Oh, yeah, man. There's so many videos out there of like chicks like smearing peanut butter on their pussies and getting their dogs to eat it and stuff. Yeah, I've seen quite a few of those. They're quite funny. But as I said before, the Mrs. Hands video, which you have actually seen, where that donkey I've has seen sex with the lady, Hans, yeah. and then the zoom in oh. when like it goes. It's the, it's the it's the flop it's the flop out. That's my yeah. favorite part. That for me is the money shot. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so what are you trying to say, Oliski? Are you a pro uh, zoo? Are you a zoo file? Do you like our show? <laughs> Do you like? <laughs> if you are into weird and wonderful things, you should probably check out Ethan's other podcast, which is questionable. And he actually does an interview with uh, JC Johnson, who's done a lot of uh, research Work Bigfoot. into Bigfoot. So if you I'm are pretty into Bigfoot, sure he's not had sex with Bigfoot though. Check it out. <laughs> oh, he kind of looks a bit like a Sasquatch, actually, <laughs> like an albino Sasquatch. Graham That's a good thing. I love fucking Sasquatch. Just subscribe to your I'd channel. Oh, nice. Nice. So, yeah. <coughs> Please, do chip in more, Aluski. <laughs> yeah, Aluski, what are you into? You, you, all right, forget it. You're, just, you're a zoo file, aren't you? That's fine. We, we, we welcome all, <laughs> all. <laughs> all types to our show. <laughs> this is about killer robots, so I'm not sure what you're actually going to find. Uh, but all our shows generally I deal with weird and wonderful written, segments, um, subjects. I think it's because you've written uh, Zoophilia. Yeah. I think they've typed that in and it's come up with that. And they've listened to it and I, we've obviously riled them up somewhat. But it was never our intention. We're merely just discussing it as a point of interest. It was our intention. Fuck it that. Totally come was. on. <laughs> you sick fuck! Now that's... Uh, that's cool. What did you get out of it? If you're into this, there's lots of dog videos. There's there was a there was a cartoon as well of some chick like tonguing a dolphin. <laughs> Zoophobic argument number four: ugly zoo files. There are plenty of zoo files that are well educated, rich, good looking. That are not into. I don't know. If you're a well educated, rich person, what kind of access to animals are you going to have? Presumably, you live Horses. in a city. You wouldn't know if you lived in a high rise. If no, but if no, if you're if you're in some brownstone in New York, what are you gonna have really? Yeah, you're but gonna, you're gonna have more than one house. You're, you're gonna, gonna have, have a house in the fucking country. You're gonna have a cat, possibly a dog, some terrapins, possum, t turtles. <laughs> uh, 
uh, a mi- mouse. No, no, no. <laughs> like Richard Gere. <laughs> I'm the pet shop boy. Zoophobic argument number five: taking advantage. Zoophobia says it's wrong to take advantage of animals, and it should be legal. Uh, well, is it? T- it's kind of taking advantage in a little bit. Um, what one of them did say, and I kind of understood it, and that's if, like, if you try and get a dog to do something it doesn't want to do, it will. It will kick up. It will kick up a fuss. A lot of the animals seem to be quite willing. I don't know. That donkey was just eating some hay on the <laughs> the uh, hey. Cartagenian donkey fuckers what, vice what, documentary. What, what do gay horses eat? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, be nice. <laughs> animals can't tell the cops when it when uh, sexual abuse happens. So all sex with animals is made illegal to protect them. Yeah, it's made illegal in several states, isn't it? I think mm. because of the Mr. Hands case, because he was like some like aerospace engineer, some like well-to-do guy with like a really professional, super high-profile scientific job. I've got this itch in my hand. I was going to scr- say, why are you like rubbing your computer with I'm your... I'm scratching the back of my knuckle on the edge of You're my Mac. cleaning the world's smallest window. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna I'm gonna go with this now. Basically, this person is well into having sex with animals, <laughs> <laughs> mainly dogs. Yeah. What What was the need to defend? What did we say in the show though? We were just discussing it. We were. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe we should listen back to it. Yeah, Ruluski. We weren't judging. <laughs> we were just talking about it. Judge this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've had a maybe we could, in my maybe ass. maybe we can put a link to Mr. Hands. Uh, yes, we could. Because uh, I actually need to see it. Because like I said, I've only seen Mrs. Well, I feel, as I feel a, like I'm missing out. All right, fill some dead air and I'll try and find it. Okay, cool. Um, well, no, I thought I found it quite interesting, actually, with the uh, br- the sex with donkeys in Brazil. And that wasn't through uh, a lack of uh, females being around. Because they were saying that they actually practice on the donkeys before they move on to women. <laughs> but then there was, a, there was a woman stood there. And she was quite obviously a, a mother. She was holding a baby in her arms. She's like, yeah, the boys, you know, they go out, they fuck the donkey. But then, you know, when they get a woman, we prefer it if you don't fuck the donkey, but they so blatantly do. And mm. yeah, there was one guy that was just like, no, one kid, he was like 14, and he said he first had sex with donkey when he was about 10. Uh, and he said that there was one time when he was like on a bicycle ride or something with his mate, and he saw some donkey, and he said it had like a really big ass, and he just kind of took a, a fancy to that, and just, yeah, just hopped off his bike and hopped on the donkey. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it's just a preference thing. I don't think you have to be... And at no stage did we say. It's just that in this documentary, some of the people that did have sex with their animals had been a party to sexual abuse when they were younger or there'd been phys- any kind of physical abuse or mental abuse. Okay, Because right. you I've become <laughs> you become desensitised to shit when you're like a victim <clears throat> of X, Y or Z. Hmm. But yeah, I don't think at any stage we were... Okay. Putting them into like boxes and saying, <coughs> if you did this, then, then you will fuck your hamster. We're going to watch the Mr. Hands video now. Oh my God. Is this like live? Like watching live reactions? It Don't is. fuck with the computer. Right, here we, this is the Mr. Hands video. Right. Oh get your God. tissues out, Aluski. <laughs> This guy died, right? (gasps) Dude, that's the whole thing. That was uh, two guys, one horse linked in the uh, show, show notes. Oh my, can you just play that one more time? <laughs> Do you notice Mr. Hans's balls were pierced to fuck as well? He was like, Can severe, you just play yeah, that one w- more time? It's inter- when he finally just puts the whole thing fucking in, man. Yeah, it must have hit his heart. He died like weeks later. Weeks? Yeah. But this is what resulted in there being like a ban apparently on like animal sex in like uh, the Pacific Northwest or Dude, Washington Dude, look at the State. fucking size of it. I know, it's like mine. Pierce the balls, like. Oh my god, yeah. Extreme body modification, Mr. Hands. Do you reckon he was scared at any point? Did he he just (laughs) say, do you like it? (gasps) Do you like it? Do you you think that was his first time? (laughs) Oh my god. First time ever, I'm actually speechless. (laughs) (laughs) Oh 
Oh my god, we're so should be talking about Terminator. This Can is we play Mrs. Good. Hands now? <laughs> I feel like we need to balance it out. Yeah, we need, we need to cleanse our mind with the slightly less painful looking Mrs. Hands. I think it's the fact that it Here goes go. up his ass. So did she die? No. Oh, the way it's like pooping. <laughs> oh my god. Fucking hell. My hat's off to the people z that zoomed in there. Do you think she was... Oh, we'll come back to that. Oh my god. She definitely lasted a lot longer. <laughs> oh, oh god! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ! It's the giant cream pie to at be, the end. To be fair, the dude took a much bigger horse dick. Well, that was like a little donkey. Oh! <laughs> That was like the Danny DeVito of horses. And, oh. and Mr. Hans with the, with the Schwarzenegger. <laughs> which connects us to Terminator. Fuck! Do you think Oluski's actually a pseudonym for John Nichols, one of our other listeners that writes in quite a lot? Or perhaps Spalman. <laughs> For any kidding, don't usually go at me. Oh my god. Well. Fuck, man, I'm actually speechless. Mr. Hans, Mr. Like Hans, though, out, he had really man. like massively pierced balls, didn't he? Massively. Hmm. Right, off Facebook. Well, he looks like he was part of the extreme body modification people. He kind of did, actually. He kind yeah. of has problems feeling stuff. I don't know. But then he was like, do you like it? Maybe it was his first time. It almost sounded like it was. He almost sounded... I know <coughs> you can see his face, but he almost sounded scared. Like when the, when the dick <laughs> fails to go in the first time. He's like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Oluski. People and, and die. The, and the guy that guided it in was like, do you like that? Do you like that? Did he come? Did he come? Yeah, I think he came. The cameraman went straight for that fucking horse dick. He did. And why was it all white? What do you mean white? Well, c they're different colours, aren't they? Some are black. Some are we've we've seen a bunch of like uh, <laughs> fucking. God, we have watched a lot of zoophilia. We stuff, have. We, we oh actually God. really have. Fuck, definitely going to hell. Um, Sometimes the end's pink, isn't it? In those pornos. Sometimes. No, it's but so I, when it went in, was it white? Yeah. Oh, okay. I think I was focusing. It was on like balls. tabby, like a cat. Oh. Don't do a hand mo motion. Mo 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 motion. Right, okay. Let's get back to uh, Terminator. Let's get back to Terminator. Aluski, <laughs> uh, yeah. You pervert. What are you doing writing into our bloody show? It's okay. We don't want those kind of people listening to our... I do. This is great. I love the variety. <laughs> I love our listenerships just expanded to that. Should we I, like should we Maybe like one comment? day you can come on my other podcast. You can call in and you come on my questionable podcast. Or just come on Ethan in a cow suit. Send us a video. Oh, my God. <laughs> Is it just dogs? <laughs> There's a lot of Alsatian looking dogs on this thing. Yeah, there are actually. It's German a, Shepherds. It's a German Shepherd. You, yeah, you can't say that after the after the war though. Yeah, I know. After the Germans. I told you that. Is it? Yeah, we discussed it in length. I think it's when we watched the first Terminator movie. Many moons ago. Maybe the Jews made them change it. Maybe. Because you're like shepherding you. You like. <laughs> I literally. It's all. It's all animal sex, man. You, you kind of like. <laughs> You know, you're controlling the herd, as it were, but not instead of sheep, Jews. <laughs> God, we're gonna get some I'm a Jew herder. Some Jewish animal lovers and... <laughs> anyway, we digress. Just be careful what you, you title this one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's 23 minutes. No. Yeah. That can't be 23 minutes. That's 23 minutes. Jesus Christ. I know. Jesus Christ, monkey balls. <clears throat> It should be a bonus bonus show. <laughs> it really should, just for the reply on our uh, video. Well, Lusky, thank you so much for your interest well, in letter. We've got the YouTube channel as well. I know. We are on, uh, by the, the studio way. Studio C anal. Yeah, if you are on, uh, you've probably got the internet as well, haven't you, Lusky? So you'd like, you know, connect with other zoo files. I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, we're on uh, iTunes, YouTube. So you can find us there as well. You can download this show and share it with your friends. SoundCloud. Yeah. You've, you've made it on a podcast. That's awesome. And we've got a Facebook page. And we've got a Facebook page. So please berate us on there as well. Uh, yeah, those uh, Facebook links actually are linked under all the uh, things we've talked about, including you. Mr. Lo Hans. Lovely listener. Well, I never... When did that happen? Uh, I don't know. I, there's a documentary called Zoo attached to that, which is based off this very video, which mm. took the internet by storm. It was one man, one jar, Mrs. Hans, Mr. Hans, now called one man, one horse. One Man, One Jar is my... Mm. That, that is the one that I actually can't watch th throughout the whole thing. Yeah. It's the whole duration. That really does fuck me up. Although, today on the Cunt Cave, that chick that was fisting that other chick, 
and then she prolapses and it's literally like a red jelly donut donut and she pushes it out so far it's like the size of a medium sized cup <laughs> <laughs> and this chick just starts sucking it and licking it but I've never seen a prolapse so big it was, it was like ruby red. <laughs> it was so fucking disgusting. We've gone down a rabbit hole, haven't we? And for some reason, I always have to watch videos twice. <clears throat> the first is the initial, oh my fucking God. And well, then the second time... It washes over you, then it's like uh, absorption, then it's like deconstruction. Just desensitise to it, and then you can just watch it again and again and again. I just do to watch the expressions change. Now. And the other video was this chick with a mouth spreader in, and her boyfriend is violently oh, raping her and mouth. she's throwing up on his And dick. she constantly throws up on him. A couple now, is of that people worse than a zoo fi- zoo file video? No. Really? No. Really? Why would it be? Oh God! We've been watching zoo file videos. Now you're saying, was it forced? No, I'm saying that forced head fucking videos are not as bad as sex with a horse. No way. Get out of the studio. <laughs> <laughs> this is my studio. <laughs> Get out of your studio. This is my theatre. Mine. <laughs> um. Well, no, because she quite willingly put on that fucking mouth spreader. Mm. Maybe she's into that. Exactly, that's my point. Or maybe she's not having. She's being abused the same way as that poor. She was smiling. That poor dog, or that poor horse, or donkey. They don't know what they're doing. They're they're God's children. They have feelings too. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, back to <laughs> send your angry letters to uh, <laughs> the comment section. Uh, right, yes, it is episode uh, sixty-seven of the Two Minute Terminator. We're going from the uh, two-hour twelve-minute oh, mark. This shit looks so tame now. I know. <laughs> Why are we even bothering? We should just we should just do two minute Mr. Hands. <laughs> yeah, but that would be like just constantly on loop. It's only thirty nine seconds long. <laughs> <laughs> We're going from the one hour, uh, sorry, the two hour twelve minute mark to the two hour fourteen minute mark. Uh, and the basic crux of the this scene basically is the ter- Terminator's fighting. But there's a pivotal moment because it's a special edition. Uh, Robert Patrick playing the T one thousand touches a, uh, a handrail in the steel mill which is stripy and his hand goes stripy and rubberized uh the next scene as they make their way into the uh the factory floor his floor starts looking a bit like metallic ice cream as it kind of blends with uh, the environment essentially the t1000 has been melted and reformed and that's the metal flooring isn't it yeah yeah the metal flooring and he's not obviously the man he used to be and there's that glitch that kind of goes over his yeah, face the ripple glitch yeah the ripple glitch i really do like that yeah, that's and all the, and the boots and the yeah and the well, boots. Well, that's all that was left in the film. That's okay, but the hand bit and also the way he looks at his hand, you can re- it's really obvious he's not actually looking at his hand. Yeah, like the hands in front. Of something. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't know. I just didn't. I just well, didn't that's like a little it. bit like the Marty McFly hand in Back to the Future. You know, when he starts to like look at yeah. his hand and it fades away, and the hand's clearly been done. Yeah, but that movie was made in the fucking eighties. This is only six years later, though. Still good though, but this was cut out. Cameron didn't want ev- the audience to get the impression the T one thousand was like glitching. Uns- was glitching and like he wanted you to, up to the last minute of the film. He wanted them to make be perfect. To think that there's nothing to stop this thing. Mm. <coughs> In the theatrical cut, you just got that slight ripple, which was a suggestion. That just looks really cool though. Yeah, there was a slight ripple, the glitch that is suggesting obviously that uh, he's breaking down. Breaking down. But yeah, the ice cream feet and the stripy hand <laughs> were. Uh <laughs> and the fact that it goes all like stretchy. Why would that happen? He's liquid metal. Because he's like he's a plastoid kind of thing, isn't he? He's like malleable, so you know. Love that word. Great word. Yeah. He's, uh, uh, he's falling apart. But as I said before, actually, I think it's the reason he's probably doing that is because he's just been blown into a million pieces. <laughs> But then melted and reformed, and now he's uh, uh By the way, Luski, we are, we'll probably come back to you before the end of the show, so stay tuned. Don't turn off that doll yet, baby. God, I keep thinking there's a woman. I know. I think because it's dogs, and you, I couldn't imagine a male zoophile, even though I'm sure they do, would fuck a dog. But well, of course I would. It's m- I've, all the things we've ever seen, like, you know, at school. Oh, goes, that one that was... Look at this video on my phone. It's always been like a... A, a dog, It's yeah. always an Alsatian as well. No, or no, a German no, there, there, was, um, there was that one woman that was uh, <laughs> having... She was married and she started having uh, sexual relations with her uh, golden retriever. And then her husband got suspicious and then banned her from having this dog. And then they... Friends have it put down. That was it, yeah. And then he had the dog castrated and that's when yeah. she got the divorce. But she was quite she... clearly a lesbian. She was quite clearly gay. Yeah, it's blatantly one of those people that just gets married to just like cover it up <laughs> smoke and mirrors <laughs> and dog hairs <laughs> uh the big the, sorry <laughs> so to come back to the, the film, big horse cock we'll, we'll keep dancing between the two subjects <laughs> but that smelting pot thing there with all the liquid metal in as i said before in the other episode that was like a filled with ky jelly 
and they threw bits of uh, burnt cork in there around the edges so it looks like you know there's bits of molten rock on the top and they just lit it from below with gels maybe if, maybe if mr hans had used ky things wouldn't no, have, ended have made so it bad. worse yeah, he literally got skewered by a dude, horse. Dude, he literally did. It was that f one thrust. It was so aggressive. And you it was just the see first, like, six inches in. He's like, oh, oh. And he that's went, that's oh. Fuck, man. It was a, mo just, it was a Mortal still... Kombat move. <laughs> British him. <laughs> Giant horse dick. <laughs> Mr. Hands dies. <laughs> anyway, uh, we get to actually watch the uh, the Terminators grappling for the first time. Yeah. I well, like actually, that. You know what? When they start hand -to -hand combat. When they start fighting, when they're slamming each other against each other, you know how they made that noise? How? Oh. The Foley artists uh, were smashing filing cabinets together. Was there a horse inside together. kicking it? No, they were just hitting <laughs> filing cabinets and pushing filing cabinets on top of each other. Oh. That was the sound of the, uh, the Terminators fighting. I like it. I like it a lot. In, okay, hand-to-hand -hand combat, who do you think would win? T1000 or T800? I think in reality, I don't know. Because he couldn't actually do anything to him to hurt him, could he? Yeah, that's a good point. If we go by Terminator Genesis physics, the T1000 would just like enter the Terminator's body through his mouth or his ears and just fuck up his circuitry and just turn him off. So I guess the T1000. Yeah, maybe. I just still couldn't imagine the T1000 being solid enough to kind of make any sort of kind of effective assault on like a tank, essentially. But do you think now, I don't know, if we're going by this universe... Um, because the t because the T eight hundred now he's kind of he's he's a bit more independent thinking and he's obviously in some weird robotic way bonded to John. He's got more of a motive and he's probably more oh a will to win. Yeah. yeah. Do you think maybe? But, but versus the cold efficiency of a computer program. Yeah, but that's just like he's just been programmed. Do you There's know no early. Not five minutes ago we were talking about horses having sex. I know. With men, dude, literally that 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 clip is on loop in my head. <laughs> I'm probably gonna end up dreaming about it tonight. Put it on the cunt. Oh, we can't. Put it on the what? The cunt cave. Yeah, you can put that on the cunt cave. Yeah, there's you'd a, actually you'd uh, have to find. We can put the link on there's there. There's a private group, uh, listeners on uh, YouTube, Facebook, on sorry, Facebook, yeah. called the cunt. It's not called the cunt cave. It's called the cunut cave, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. They spelt cunt the right way around. I guess they did that so Facebook wouldn't catch them. Exactly. Smoke screen. The cunut cave. <laughs> Smart guys. It's actually the cunt cave. Yeah. Uh, and it's just the most horrific, horrible, <laughs> interesting uh, videos and pictures from around most the world. Most un-PC. Most un-PC humour. No one is safe. <laughs> it's great. It's a bit like this show. It's fucking amazing. It's so good. I got invited by this like <coughs> football hooligan I met on the train fucking a couple of years ago coming back from London. And we got on really well. And he'd seen a few things that I'd posted on my Facebook. And he sent me an email being like, I think you belong in this group. <laughs> and uh, he was right. And uh, I, yeah, I kept just sending like the pictures from uh, from the wall to uh, Ethan. I was like, do you know what? I'm just going to invite this cunt in. <laughs> and uh, now he's one of us. Welcome. Yeah. How does it feel? Uh, interesting. You can be yourself. I can actually be myself. <laughs> and you'll be celebrated for it. <laughs> Uh, Although I did like that thing you put up, actually, the Mandela thing. And that guy commented and was like, actually, I know someone that's been orphaned by a Mandela-ordered bomb. Uh, and it was a single parent So Sadly, that wasn't for Sid, but I post, I put, took a screen grab of it. Yeah. Did you know this steel mill, Ellie, uh, <laughs> in Terminator 2? By the, when they started shooting, a little bit like the way that sign was taken away. You remember when I told you about that street sign? Yeah. Because of course I'm a Terminator. That that sign in the background was taken down, and it fucked up the continuity of continuity of the film. Mm. And they had to find the people responsible for that sign and get it put back. Mm. Same thing with the steel mill. Halfway through shooting, they couldn't shoot anymore because the steel mill had been sold to uh, Chinese investors. Okay. It was going to be taken apart and shipped to China, basically, and melted down, or reassembled, whatever. Someone had bought it, basically. Okay. Uh, so they had to make a massive negotiation with the people, the Chinese that bought uh, this steel mill to have an extension so they could basically finish filming. Did you know that? I did not know that. And yeah. that was a fact and you didn't let me fact attack it. Well, I think we've been so bowled over by <laughs> not only a, a reader letter, but from such a, like, uh, an unusual corner of society, nay the globe. Nay the globe, nay! <laughs> yeah, what country are you in, Aluski? <laughs> Find us, c c go on Facebook, find Two Minute Terminator, the podcast on Facebook, and uh, uh, start writing letters to us. Yeah, educate us, please. Educate us. Tell us about animal sex. Not Animal Farm, the George Orwell book, or and or animated show play. <laughs> and or. <laughs> and or well. Maybe they're a relative of Mr. Hans. 
Yeah. Did you know? Did you know, Mr. Hands? Do did you, you think? Did you uh, socialise in the same circles? Yeah. Were you the guy that kind of helped oh, guide it in and responsible for the death of Mr. Hands. <laughs> We're only kidding. We love you. Thank you. Uh, thank you for watching the show, by the way. Well, yeah, thank I'm quite you. Quite flattered. <laughs> <laughs> Do tell all your friends. Share it tell amongst your, your friends. peers. S share this with the zoo uh, community. <laughs> And let's get this show on the road. I really do feel like this grassroots, uh, literally eating grass. The animal's not looking. Just say no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Thank you for uh, listening, everyone. Uh, it's been an unusual episode. Uh, a quick pivotal episode, actually, with some actual special edition bits in. We've sadly been overlooked because some character somewhere in the world who looks like they're like animals, particularly dogs, Wrote in a letter of defense of uh, the zoo lifestyle. Uh, you can find below the show notes some of the things we've talked about on tonight's show. Actually, I do have a question. Go on. And it's about this. Sorry. The film? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Which film? Terminator. You know when, um, you know you said that the uh, the liquid metal, the molten metal, um, that's KY, with lights shone up through it. Well, it's various substances, but there was a lot of KY and something else. I've it when you see when you see the um, sparks of like fire and stuff coming down, like all these bits, what would that have been then? Or they're just firing out KY jelly? No, they're just actual sparks. Oh, okay. Yeah. I just thought I'd ask. I was just, I, I was, I was, I was looking at it, thinking I've got to say something about. So when you get grinders, when you do those people who do those like uh, performance art things, and they put like a grinder on there, they, they, a plate. Oh God, over I their find dick that shit so fucking dull. I anyway. <laughs> Anyway, thank you for listening. We shall return tomorrow with another show, which will be episode 68. 67? Alyssa, why don't you write in and give us some material for 69? Because it will be quite apt, I feel. And is it just dogs? That's what I want to know. Is it just dogs, do yeah. Do people have sex with cats? I can't see how you could. I mean, there's, there's, there was I can a, imagine if you've got a cat to make used your to be pussy, a porn that might be quite good. Because they've got Animal that. Farm, which I haven't seen, but they kind of put their... Should we find it? A man, a German man. F they did it on Opie and Anthony. The man fucks the chicken and he puts his dick in the cloaca, that thing when the eggs come out, and the chicken's not having fun. <laughs> <coughs> so, uh, how many followers has uh, Aliski got? 500... Jesus Christ, they got more followers than we do. <laughs> I'm impressed. My my hat's off to you. <laughs> hat's off to you, sir, or Aliski. and or madam. Hate against Aliski. zoo sexuals. Oh, Animal passion two part oh, one. Oh look at the cow! German uh, sex uh, zoos may bring back bestiality, bestiality laws. laws. Yeah. They is it is it bestiality or bestiality? Oh, do you think that's the last so kind of one of the last social constructs we've kind of freed the gays? They're all allowed to be gay now and stuff. No, they're not persecuted as much, I guess. You know, the, well, the Nambler, next Nambler are fighting for um, it to be accepted that as an adult you can have sex with children. Yeah. They fought that for years, though. I don't think they'll ever get that. I don't think they'll ever get that. No. Uh, if you want to check back the last or the last but one, we did discuss the Nambler documentary, which was shocking beyond belief. Probably worse than the animal videos, to be fair. Because um, it was the kind of the brazenness oh, of the her. Nambler people. Oh, that is her. That's her. Animal Passions 2 Part 1. Is this Is this a drama? No. No, because she's the chick that's married to the she's guy the that chick, looks yeah. like uh, he's, you know, you he's know in what? Def Leppard. Yeah, Alufsky, we're going to actually link you to the actual... Uh, I, f I found this documentary. It's all in bits. Yeah, no, I'll find it. I'll send Just it like to that you. man's bum. We'll off. put it in the show notes of this. So it's the show notes of episode 67. I'll repost the uh, the full unedited documentary. I'll also try and find the uh, zoo documentary, which is uh, an eye-opener. It really was. A brown eye-opener. <laughs> Thanks for listening, guys. We shall return tomorrow. As the horse would say, come on my back. <laughs> yes, yeah, stay away from the animals. Stay? stay away. I'm, no. I'm so nervous. <laughs> stay away from the animals. Baby. The animals, baby. Ooh. Ooh. No, mm. That's why the zoo files listen to us. Because we've got animal Huxley. noises at the end. Huxley pig. <laughs> Fucking leave Huxley alone. <laughs> you leave Huxley alone. <laughs> <laughs> one more, one more.